Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Before we do begin today's video, make sure you guys are going down below and smashing that subscribe button. Make sure you guys are smashing that like button as well. But in today's video, today's gameplay is a MP7 nuke I did go ahead and get just the other day, just before the Cold War Alpha was released. It's a pretty insane gameplay, pretty stoked with the nuke. Uh, I do have a lot more Cold War content on the way so make sure you do stay tuned for that make sure you smash that subscribe button but i just wanted to talk about my overall thoughts on modern warfare in today's video uh sorry if you guys are expecting a live come on this nuke unfortunately there isn't a live come on this nuke it was uh, i just got it while playing casually i wasn't actually recording uh, thankfully i managed to save it on the ps4 you know save feature so i was uh, very thankful for that i do have a live com with another mp7 nuke on shipment which is an insane gameplay i might upload that later on in the week so let me know if you guys do want to see that but like I did say, we're going to talk about my overall thoughts on Modern Warfare this year. Obviously, this uh, Call of Duty year is coming to a close. We have the beta at the start of next month, the 8th of October, I do believe. So, you know, Modern Warfare is sort of drying out right now, even though we do have Season 6 right around the corner. Uh, I'm sure Warzone will still continue to live on, but, you know, the Modern Warfare multiplayer side of things, the thing I did upload most this year, uh, is coming to an unfortunate end. And to be fair, the start of this year, Modern Warfare, I was not very optimistic at all. I really disliked the game in general, coming from Black Ops 4, where the movement was such more way more cleaner and crisper in my opinion you know way more fast paced and the time to kill being a lot quicker i was getting absolutely destroyed at the beginning of this year in this game to be honest and i really did hate it and i definitely i, I went back and played black ops 4 for uh, the first month or so uh, not constantly i still hopped on modern warfare to record and things and try and get a little bit used to the game but i really really did not like it and i saw a lot of even big content creators frizz eyes uh, for instance he literally played Black Ops 4 all the way until about halfway through Modern Warfare and then finally transitioned to Modern Warfare. Uh, and I don't blame him. At the start of this game, it was... I, I, I hated this game, to be honest. And it's definitely, definitely not been a great game, in my opinion. Now, looking like now, I have enjoyed this game a lot. You know, even though I've just said it wasn't a very good game. And I don't think it was a very good game, and I'll get onto why I think that in just a second. I've had some great, great videos, and making content on this game has been way more enjoyable than it was on Black Ops 4. I don't know if that's because I've grown as a content creator in myself, or more confident, or something along them lines. You know, that might be why I've enjoyed making content on this game a little bit more. I've done a few live streams on this game, and to be fair, we have probably had the best couple of months on this game recently in uh, just well by the start of the coronavirus lockdown in, in the UK uh, it was when my channel has performed the best since I've ever even st ever started you know I was insane and making content on this game was so much fun and I still love making content on it and getting insane gameplays on this game but this is what brings me to hate this game I wouldn't say hate but you know really really dislike this game and that is plain and simple the fact that it rewards not very good players, the less experienced players. Uh, it, this has actually been, you know, official. It's actually been released in a statement that that is the way this game is made. The maps was designed to, uh, like, complement, uh, accommodate, or whatever you want to say. I don't even know what word to even put on this sentence. Uh, for the newer players, you know, there's so many places you can camp, so many windows. It's not like the Treyarch free lane design maps where, you know, there's three main lanes of the map and you can just pick one and go down it and kill as many people as you want, uh, depending on the skill, obviously. Um, it was, you know, so many angles you can get shot from, from so many different directions. And I did, at the start of this game, it was a camper's dream. Uh, there was so many campers in this game and it, it drove me insane. And still to this day, there's so many people who camp, like the office building on Shoe House. Uh, people are just sitting in windows. And like this head glitch, as you can see, this guy, they'll just keep going back to places like this. And fair enough, uh, my friend, he uh, stopped playing Call of Duty for a very long time. Uh, finally got back into it in Modern Warfare, which is the good thing about Modern Warfare. It's brought a lot of old players back to the game. Uh, and there's the nuke, as you can see. So pretty insane. Uh, he enjoys this game. He loves this game. He's not very good at the game, though, bearing in mind, which I'm really happy to see. I love to, you know... It, to make old players come back to the game and less experienced players enjoy the game and increase the fan base of Call of Duty and that's you know that's what they wanted to do in Modern Warfare and they've hit the nail on the head like absolutely smashed it pretty insane to be fair how many uh, players and new players this game has brought to the scene and I'm very happy about that but being an experienced player myself it was difficult as you can see the new getting called in as well so pretty insane it was 
but it was difficult, you know, to enjoy this game because of the time to kill it. Basically, you don't have chance to react. Uh, as soon as you get shot, depend, you know, if it's a half decent player with the skill based matchmaking, I'm dead instantly. Whereas in Cold War, for instance, in Black Ops 4, you know, I could get shot and try and get out of the way and read child and get a kill, you know, and because, you know, because I'm better than the guy, let's say 45 and 3. I didn't realize I did that good in that game. Pretty insane gameplay, to be fair. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy that. Smash a like for the nuke. And I thought, why not wind this video down with a Cold War gameplay as well? So, hopefully, you guys do enjoy this as well. But, like I said, it was very hard being an experienced player, which does sound weird. Obviously, I wasn't awful at the game. I've not done terrible at the game. And I've not had a bad year in terms of, like, my stats and, you know, in overall performance. But with the skill-based matchmaking, it made the game really, really unenjoyable. And I think that's the deciding factor here when it comes to Modern Warfare and why a lot of people dislike it and feel the same way I do. Uh, comparing it to other games, is the skill-based matchmaking, you know, I've said it before in my, you know, will skill-based matchmaking video ruin the Cold War game, because uh, the, the skill-based matchmaking in the Alpha was very, very heavy, and ultimately it probably will ruin the game for, you know, the better player, for a new player, which is seems to be what they're prioritising at the moment, and I think that's something we're just going to have to live with now, I think, you know, it's not going to change, no matter how much we complain, skill-based matchmaking is unfortunately going to be in the game forever, I think, um, but... You know, it helps the new players, it helps them enjoy the game. Like I said, the example of my friend, who is awful at the game, to be quite frank, like, really bad. But he enjoys the game because of the skill-based matchmaking, because he's not coming up against players like myself or like yourself, who play the game day in, day out, and, you know, we've played it for years, and we know what we're doing. Uh, and, you know, we'd slaughter the newer players, obviously, and that's what why we hate skill-based matchmaking. That's because we want lobbies with the new players in, lobbies to slaughter people. So we've got to look at it at that perspective, you know, we can slay skill-based matchmaking all we want, but if we've got a friend who returns to the game, they're not very good, and they're actually enjoying the game because of skill-based matchmaking, he didn't even know what skill-based matchmaking was uh, until I told him about it, and he thought it was a really good feature, obviously, because obviously he didn't want to come up against sweats, he said, and, you know, he wants to just play the game and, and enjoy it and just chill out, which is perfectly fine. You know, you don't have to take every single game seriously. You know, it is fun to just chill out on the game and just relax. Maybe with a bit of music on. Um, you know, it's not something I do often, but it is really nice to do. And skill-based matchmaking lets the ex less experienced players just take it casual. You know, chill out maybe after a long day at work or school. They can just chill out in the game, not get frustrated as much, and just enjoy the game. So I think skill-based matchmaking, we have to live with it. You know, there is ways around it, reverse boosting and all that stuff. But, you know, it's up for debate. You know, people encourage skill-based match. Uh, reverse boosting people slate on it personally i think it's wrong uh, it is literally is boosting but when worst comes to worst obviously we've, apparently we've seen the bigger youtubers like swag and korean reverse boosting in the game but my argument is obviously they're saying they make players look like bots i don't know 100 percent. they might be reverse boosting for me i don't know but the, obviously these are very very good players and more than likely they're going to make a lot of average players look like general bots let's be real you know they play it day in day out for hours on end um if you know, if anyone could put that time into the game, they'd be just as good, and that's why I think they don't really have a need to skill-based match, like to reverse boost this uh, matchmaking system. Uh, so that's my opinion personally. A lot of people disagree. I'm in a Warzone group on Facebook, like a massive community. Like there's over like 200,000 people, and I've seen somebody slating swag for his Akimbo nuke uh, gameplay. That was all reverse boosted, and there were so many people replying to this and commenting on it. Uh, like agreeing with him like it's just cheating like he's just a scumbag and to be fair you know he might have reverse boosted it he might not have i don't know but to be honest he's a, obviously a really good player and i doubt he would reverse boost to be honest it's one of those if people want to do it people want to do it you know it's up to you if you want to reverse boost get good gameplays get nukes get whatever you want to do enjoy the game then that's fine that is completely fine as long as you're enjoying the game do what you need to do to enjoy the game as long as people are enjoying the game that's all that matters and i'm really sorry guys i feel like i've just rambled on about skill based matchmaking but i hope you guys really did enjoy the new gameplay i'm going to end the video here before i go on a massive rant and this video turns into like a half an hour long thing i could literally talk on this subject for literally hours on end 
Uh, it's pretty crazy to be honest, but hopefully you guys did enjoy the new gameplay and this little Cold War gameplay. This is literally one of my first games, so pretty decent gameplay I got to be fair. Not the best, but uh, pretty decent I would say for, to say it was like one of my first games. But I do have a lot more Cold War content on the way. I have a couple of live comms as well coming. Some best class ups on the Cold War Alpha, preparing you for the beta, sniping, all that good stuff. So make sure you smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on those videos. I have a couple more nukes coming for Modern Warfare as well. Gameplays like the shipment nuke. Uh, I'm trying to get a pistol nuke uh, for the simple fact Ali A started uploading Call of Duty again. If you guys remember back in the day, the Black Ops 2 days, he got a pistol nuclear. Uh, I want to try and recreate that, but man, it's tough. Obviously, like I said, with the skill-based matchmaking, it's super, super tough. But we'll see if I can pull it off. Who knows? So make sure you smash the subscribe button so you don't miss out in case I do go ahead and clutch that one up make sure you guys are going down below and smashing that subscribe button make sure you're hitting that like make sure you follow me on my instagram and my twitter links for them they're in the description below thank you guys ever so much for watching i hope to catch you guys on the next one peace